So I've been asked to do a quick little tutorial on Fire Alpaca. Um, I'm rather new at this program myself, so it might not be the best. Anyway, this is what the program looks like on my computer. Um, yes, I use a Mac. And I have one layer, and you start out with a transparent layer at 100% um, uh, opacity. Uh, all the tools are set up. Uh, to my standards, I was drawing with it before I started, um, so some of the colors are a little different from what you'll see. Anyway, these are your the tools that you will be using in Fire Alpaca for the version that I have. Uh, there's the pen, the pencil, the two airbrushes, the watercolor, the blur tool, and the eraser. Again, I was drawing with this before, so these are a little different from the usual setup. The first four um, are usually what you're going to use for a lot of inking, especially the pen tool. Um, both airbrush tools work, work exactly the same. There is no difference in them. I have yet to understand why there's two, but there is. I just kind of grin and bear it. The pencil is semi-transparent as you draw with it, and as you draw over it, it'll darken. Uh, these are your last three, the watercolor, the blur, and the eraser. Watercolor is just very fuzzy. Um, it's a very fuzzy pen. It's watercolor. Blur, um, you change your blur radius by how many pixels wide it is. I have 500. And your eraser is just what it sounds like. It's an eraser. Um, it's about, uh, this eraser is only, uh, sorry, I was cut off. The eraser will uh, erase partially in this part here. Uh, it's kind of like the pencil, except you don't have to re-click to make it darker. It, you just go over it a few times like you would with an actual eraser. Um, that's really about it for the tools. These are a few other tools that are used in Fire Alpaca. There's no undo history. There are these beautiful little back and redo buttons. I've yet to find their limit. Um, they do take a little bit, and you do need to be watching your drawing while pressing them. Otherwise, they're, they're pretty useful. There's also um, Edit, Undo if you really need it. On to the other tools. So these are your other tools. There's Pen, Eraser, Dot, and Navigation. I, I forgot what it is. Uh, fill the entire box. Uh, bucket Fill. There's a little fade thing. I should go over that in another tutorial eventually. Uh, three different selection, or four different selection tools, a color grabber and then a hand that just moves your drawing. A lot of them are very self-explanatory, just in their pictures. And these are the color, this is how you choose your colors. Uh, the whole rainbow is on the right side and the uh, different shades of this color that you have chosen is on the left side. Um, you will see my color picker at the very bottom of this one, off in the far right corner, where it's black, because I was using black before. Um, personally, I use a pen tablet. I have uh, pressure sensitivity on my pen tablet with the uh, pen, well, the pen. Uh, however, the mouse does work on this program, as you can see from my poorly drawn line. Um, pressure, I like it a lot better. I can get better lines with it. However, I've used GIMP, so GIMP pretty much has no pressure. It doesn't matter what you use, they both work about the same. Um, I'm ending this tutorial early due to the fact that I'm tired, I have homework to do, and I really can't think of anything else to say to introduce the program better than I already have. Thank you for watching. I should be able to get up another tutorial once people ask me what they want to know, if I can explain it or not. Till then, see you later.